Hi everyone, my name is Nani. Welcome to my channel. If you have yet watched my unboxing video for this fountain pen, I put a link that you can click at the end of this video so you can check it out later, okay? Today I'm so excited to show you my new notebook and I even embossed my name on it with the Eiffel Tower icon and behind I embossed some dandelion and yes, it's Leuchtturm. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. And I bought it in pot rate. Now let's open it up. Okay, this is the first page where you can put your name and your contact number in case you lost your notebook so people can return it back to you. And this one comes with 120G paper, not like the normal one, it's 80G. And behind, as usual, they have this, uh, how do you call it, envelope pocket, which you can put your receipt or any other thing in it. And then bookmark. And it's in dotted grid. I like the dotted grid. It's like grayish color, very light. And it consists of 203 pages. Okay, back to the front page. This is the index content. Okay, let's turn to the next page. This is where I put my key element. I know guys, it's full. I get overexcited and I put too many. But it's okay, it's my first journal. And below is I tested some pens, some brush pens, some uh, fountain pens, some mild liner and watercolor. So far it's good, it didn't go through. So the paper wet does withstand all my pen. Page 2 and 3, I put my year at a glance, which I start uh, in September. I included some August event into this page. I got this idea from Pinterest. They drew the cat and put motivation words on it, so I drew my cat cookie. And the next page, I just leave it blank. On my left side is the man at a glance. So on the right side, I put my weekly weekly lock, which I start with week 36, that's for September, and then and so on. So each week I will have like 7 days to write my weekly lock. Then come to my habit tracker. I don't track a lot, I just track the important thing that I want to track. And for my gratitude page, I put one line a day. And come next is my goals, what I want to achieve. Next is my no spend rules, which I really need to budget, so this is a good way for me to follow. And I also do a budget motivation quotes, which I found in the internet. It's, it's a very nice quote. And then this is where I put my budget, what I spend, where my money goes to. And this is the planning for my next month, what I should not buy. Then come to my self-discovery page. I think the best way to do this is to do Q&A. There's a lot of questions that you can find in Pinterest to start with. And I draw this page using my fountain pen. And the blue color is from Diamond Ink. The name is Storm. And the gold color is from Pelican, Aldenstein Golden Burial. And this black color, I forgot what ink is this. Okay, now my pen come back. Now let's review this pen, whether it's nice to use or not. The color is beautiful though. I like rose gold, so... Before I use my paint, I'm gonna color a bit of something. This is blue color. This is a watercolor koi brush. Here. 
I will talk less during my painting or sketching, so you guys just enjoy the process. Okay, let's begin. I will use it without the cap because with the cap it's too long for me to hold and it's not stable. The need for this twist B pen is fine. So far the inconsistent is very good, there is no stuck or anything. The ink is very consistent and fluid. Okay, that's a whole lot of circle. Now let's check behind. So far, okay, the watercolor is okay and there's no bleeding through for the ink. So, so far so good. Okay, so now let's continue drawing with the petal. Okay, that's we done for one flower petal. Now let's do the next one. Okay, we complete the second flower. So far the ink is consistent, there's no problem in uh, continuing drawing it, the ink flow is still smooth, so let's continue on. Dotted is, uh, I think it's the easiest way to complement a sketch, it's very convenience and it makes the sketch a bit lively if you put some thought on here and there okay now I want to draw a line across since this is a dotted grid so we do not need a ruler and also, I like more of a, an organic line instead of using ruler because if you use ruler, it's very very straight. So like this, I think it creates more character to your journal. Okay, so far so good. I think for the eco is very smooth and nice to use so if you consider to buy one I would recommend it. 
So for this white rose gold, it costs around $50 and the other normal other color is around 33 So overall, it's very nice to use, so I recommend it. Now, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and see you in my next video. Bye!